right, let's take a look at this OBD2. Um, it's a car diagnostic system. Now, this is all you're going to need, all right? This is Bluetooth built in. It's going to self-power itself. So we're going to put it to use today. And instructions are simple. You do need to download the program itself, all right? So we're going to do that as a demo tool. They make it for Droid, and they also make it for ISO. So we're going to go ahead and put it together and test it on our car. So let's go ahead and do that. You're going to require to download the M100 from the Droid store or the Apple store. All right, so when you first come in your vehicle, you got to make sure you have this connection, all right, to marry it. If you don't have that, a certain models, um, older models will not have it. Um, you're going to have to check your provider, make sure that it fits. So once we install this, pretty much just marry it in simple. You see the little light coming on. And then we're going to use our phone to set it up. So let's go ahead and do it simple you turn on your bluetooth you go to connections i'm doing a auto droid but it'll be the same thing go to your bluetooth and you find the actual connection it's down there if you guys can see it all right connect to it i'm gonna I'm pairing it go ahead and pair it so we're gonna it's gonna turn into a different color as soon as you pair it so we're paired right now and we're gonna go ahead and turn on the car okay once we find it if you guys can see it on my bluetooth uh, once we connect to it I'm going to go into it. Now we're able to use all the applications. A quick scan, that's the first thing you want to do all the time. Make sure your car is up to standard. And if you guys can see, it gives you all the fault the messages that we have right now. Fault codes, we have zero right now, so we're okay. But if you have a fault code, you actually look it up and see, find out what's wrong with your car. Very simple. And say you can even share this information with your mechanic or post it yourself and, and, and actually study it later on. We got a couple of things monitoring okay, okay? Um, so we're, we haven't seen all the details here. We're gonna go into it, but right now we're just gonna go skip a couple of things so I could take you to show you the more options that we have in here. So here, it gives me all the information, including the VIN number, which I'm gonna block out, guys. It gives you all the information that we normally use for smog checks and other either devices, any kind of issues that we had in the past. It pretty much is gonna be standardized here. It's been a geek capture in here. So let's go ahead and go back to the menu and look at other options. All right, under other menu, uh, default codes right here. If we have any default codes, confirm. We don't have any right now, so we can't even turn them off. Clear default codes, we could turn them off. Data screen, this is gonna give you pretty much our, our car information on few tests we could do a few tests it tells you the the speeds that we certain how much gallons we waste um the rpms you could have this on a side panel you could have this on a mount and give you all that same information in details of course you could go into more details in here it gives you a little description uh, including with the actual uh a little icon and then a graphics with it and you could actually change it go back in there and add some more if you want this will give you a more of if you're a racing guy you want to know if you're getting the best fuel mileage this is probably something you're gonna have to look into so let's go back to the menu back into it we're gonna go back to oxygen sensor so this is where the actual motor requires and the manifold requires oxygen to actually spin some of the um, pistons so we're gonna go ahead into details right now how much we're wasting on um, it zero oxygen sensor monitor it gives you information this is for more mechanics that will know this kind of information i'm not familiar with it i just got this for defaulting the sensors uh, re uh, resetting the actual default messages that's pretty much what i use it for but if something is wrong with my car i could take this same information and take it to mechanics it could be a better quote with it all right this is a great indication if you're not ready for a smog check you can always go in there and go to smog check and right now we are okay and pretty much in everything something that's we have to go in through uh monitoring but pretty much we're in a good spot right now very good nothing's in red um so this is something you can always pre-test your car prior to taking to a smog check uh, many options you have all sorts of data stream here uh freeze frame you could take screenshots of certain things if you want but right now we don't have any codes or anything like that default reset codes we don't have anything right now but um, it gives you an understanding and then we could get a whole report on everything a quick scan report and the quick scan report We could send this out to any location if we want now the great thing about it I like about if you guys notice there's a little icon here 13.8 that's the voltage on your battery. So anytime you have it under 10 it means you need a new battery. If it goes way below 10 and it's not charging, it could be your alternator, it could be a bunch of things, but that's a great indication right up front. 
this was very simple, easy to use. Uh, if you have trouble not picking up the USB, unplug it, plug it back in while your car is on, it'll automatically find it on the next screen on the VC, it'll find it here. And um, if you guys can see it has been connected, we're good. But that's the only trouble I had in the beginning. But overall, the system's simple, easy to you use, easy to use. You don't need anything tether in. It's it's wireless Bluetooth. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. 99.6 of you are not subscribers in my channel. I hope that the content helps you out and that you find it very useful. And I hope you hit the like and subscribe.